What's going on guys, Ryan Nelson here, and I want to give you $5,000. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so before we get too far into this, I wanna to be totally upfront with you. I have not been sponsored to do this video. Nobody's reached out to me, in fact, I've done over 150 videos on YouTube and not one of them has been sponsored. In fact, I've made exactly, carry the two, let's divide by zero, exactly zero dollars. I've made exactly zero dollars in sponsored videos for YouTube. So that led me to think, you know what? No budget, no problem. So let me be honest that, that okay, that, that probably maybe was a little bit of clickbait. I do, I do wanna give you $5,000, but I don't have $5,000 to give you. So where does that lead us with no budget? We've got no budget, we wanna create some awesome videos. Where do we go from here? So I've compiled a list of free resources that can help you create videos, free music, free stock footage, free clips, free sound effects, all this stuff. So I wanna play something for you real quick. One of my favorite shows that I've been watching recently is American Horror Story. I'm sure you've seen it. If you haven't and you like scary stuff, check out American Horror Story because it's really cool. So what I wanted to do was see if I could get all of these free resources, gather materials from all of these free resources and create an intro for maybe what I would see maybe being the next intro for American Horror Story. So check it out. Cue the horror. I think that actually came out pretty cool. And the best thing, the best thing about that is every bit of footage, sound effect, music, clip, overlay, everything in there was all free. No budget, no problem. So what I wanna do, and like I said, I, I, I wish I did have $5,000 to do this, to give you for winning this challenge, but I wanna challenge you to use free stuff, free footage, not even your own footage, just free footage that you found on all of these free sites to create an intro for your favorite TV show. Let's give this to like March, May 5th. So I'm gonna check out everybody's uh, videos, everything you create. I'm gonna do a video about it and I'm gonna pick my winners. And then hopefully, maybe some companies will reach out to me, they'll see this, they'll reach out to me and offer some prizes for you guys because I don't wanna leave you empty handed. Okay, just a quick update for you guys. There are some prizes for the winner of this challenge. I have a one year subscription to Soundstripe. It's an awesome music service. It's, there's not a whole lot of junk on there that you're gonna have to sift through, unlike Free Music Archive. Soundstripe is straight to the point. You can find the song that you want really, really quick. And then we also have a light from B&H. This is courtesy of B&H. Thank you guys for sending this off to the winner. This is a Janari five inch curved light. I've never used a curved light, so I'm really curious to check this out, but I guess you're gonna have to check it out for me. Thank you, Soundstripe. Thank you, B&H, for offering prizes to this. I'm getting, also still getting nothing from them for this, but some prizes for you. I hope you guys like this, so don't do this challenge just for the video, but create awesome videos, because that's why we do this, because we love making awesome videos. But sometimes we don't always have the budget for it, so free, free clips are really good. One thing I wanted you to check out, woo, whoa. Ooh. So, just fun fact. Whoop. Fun fact, I did just learn, I did learn just to ride that, just learned, did, how do I say that? I just learned to ride that less than 24 hours ago, so I'm not thinking it's a great idea to be vlogging from the board, holding my camera. Not a great idea. Okay, so, I know it seems like maybe it's a little cool out today, but it's, it's actually getting kind of warm. So, taking the jacket off, gotta lose the jacket. So, these free resources, what are they? Where are they? Where do you find them? How do you get free video, free music, free sound effects? It's all over the web. So basically, if you just get online and search free resources, um, you're gonna come across a lot of junk, but there are some good resources out there. Video resources that I've found, 
NASA. There's a lot of NASA footage out there that is free to the public. It's public domain. Archive.org. There is so much stuff on archive.org. It's kind of mind boggling. Again, there's a lot of junk on there, but there's a lot of useful stuff. A couple better resources are pond5.com slash free. They have a lot of public domain and uncopyrighted material on there. So that's, I feel like that's a little bit higher quality. One service that I used a lot for this video was vid, vid, vidivo, vidivo.net. It's V-I-D-E-V-O dot net. National Park Service also has some free stock footage. Most of it is from the Grand Canyon, oddly enough, but they do have some footage out there if you're interested in using National Park footage. These are all resources that are public domain or not copyrighted, so check those out. Uh, if you're looking for photos, Creative Commons is a great place to find photos. Archive.net, archive.org.org also has photos. They have, some, they have actually a bunch of stuff on archive.net. .org. Why do I keep saying .net? Archive.org. Music, like I mentioned earlier, uh, Free Music Archive. So a little tip when you guys are on Free Music Archive to find videos with the proper license. Free Music Archive, go to Curators, Music for Video, and then go change your search to only search for CC-BY. License, public domain, or uncopyrighted. But always double check with the artist, whether you're getting a video clip, a music clip, anything like that. Just double check that you can use that for your purposes because some things are a little bit more restricted than others. I did come across a few clips that I wanted to use that were editorial only. I'm always confused on what's commercial and what's editorial. If I'm making money on it through AdSense, does that make it commercial? Somebody who knows more about that than me, please answer that down in the comments. I'm really curious. Does YouTube monetization make this video a commercial video? I mean, I'm not advertising a specific product, so. I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? They were just purchased by Tribe of Noise, which is a paid service, so I don't know how long Free Music Archive is going to be be there, hang around, be available, but it is a decent resource. Again, there's there's a lot of weird stuff on there. There's a lot of junk, a lot of But point being, you are going to pay for this stuff. It is free. It's free. You're not paying physical money for it but you are paying for it in your time and your efforts to find the right stuff. With a lot of these websites, you don't really have the detailed search functions that I have with say Soundstripe. You can't really narrow down the music you're looking for. Vidivo and Pond5, you can actually search keywords, which is very helpful. I find with the music services, that's a little bit harder. Another website, another music website, free music, free sound, freesound.org. And with all of these things, you're gonna wanna pay attention to copyright. And YouTube is very specific about which licenses you can use. So it's either gonna to have to be in public domain, it's gonna to have to be uncopyrighted, or it's gonna to have to have a Creative Commons BY license. And that basically means that when you license it, all you have to do is put an attribution, attrib is, that, is that how you say that? You have to attribute, you have to note the artist or the filmmaker or whoever made that piece of music, whatever you're putting in there, you just have to note who made that piece and your description for that video that I made. Everything's down below in the description, all the artists, all the clips I've used, that's all down in the description. So when you get into it, there is a lot of free resources out there to help you create videos, get that stock footage. You don't have time to get out and shoot this piece of footage. It may be out there for free. It's not gonna be the best quality, but there are some decent stuff out there. Like I said, that whole American Horror Story intro that I made, it was all free. That wasn't even any of my clips or my sound effects. That was all stuff that I found for free. So like I said, the challenge here is, so I said March 5th earlier, I meant May 5th. I don't know why I said March. May 5th, due date, tag RYN challenge. And then we're gonna do a 15 second intro for your favorite TV show. Create your own, whatever the next season's gonna be, whatever that's gonna be in your head, whatever you want it to be. Make an intro for it. I wanna see what you guys come up with. Looking forward to it. If you guys like this video, hit that, no, I mean that one, that one. Hit the thumbs up button down there. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you've made it this far and you hate this video, go ahead, hit, hit that thumbs down. It's fine, I don't care. It means somebody else is watching it. So, looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. I will see you guys next time. We we we
Sorry again for the clickbait title.